Hey everyone, this is uh, my first review of the Piranha Propeller. Um, I got this in the mail the other day, and um, it is the 1421A, so it should be able to fit on 135 horsepower um, Mercruiser 3 liter engine uh, with an Alpha 1 outdrive. So, um, which on there, the standard stock propeller that it comes with is 14.25 by 21 pitch. You can also use 19 pitch if you're going to be uh, doing a lot of like. Um, towing of wakeboarders or skiers or something like that anyway one of the first things i noticed when i got this it came in um five pieces there was three blades there was the hub and there was the end cap um one of the things i noticed that when i put the blades in is that it didn't seem to mat it didn't seem to um be totally flush like you can see i actually i, I hammered it down as much as i could and it is all the way down as you can kind of see but i don't know if it's just the fact that it's kind of plastic or what the deal is or that fiberglass stuff is as they put it but it didn't seem to be like totally flush like I thought it would be um, there's like a little bit of a ridge here this is the little button that that's gonna fit these three little buttons here are gonna fit into this hub lock here you can see little holes in there <clears throat> so um, another thing I noticed is that um, on this when I look squarely down on it I compared it to another prop and I noticed it doesn't have as much of a, what they call a footprint, um, meaning the blades uh, didn't cover up as much. I don't know if that makes a huge difference. I'd always heard that that does, because um, I was switching once from a, um, uh, a, an Acme 3 blade on uh, my Moomba to another blade. And they were telling me how like it's important that you have like more coverage. So I don't know how true that is or not. Um, let's see. Also, another thing is that on a typical blade... The blade length would seem to kind of come out a little bit more, but um, I, I could be all totally wrong about this because I haven't even I haven't put it on the boat. I'm going to put it on the boat today, uh, and I'm going to try it out. Uh, and it's going to be going on a um, on a Bayliner 175. Uh, as I said, it's a Merc Cruiser, three liter engine, 135 horsepower, uh, inboard out. So um, obviously, so um, I'll try this out. I'll see how it works, uh, and I'll give you a further update report on how good it is. Uh, and if this does work. Um, I'm going to be putting this on another Bayliner. I'm going to, actually, I'm going to be putting this on two other Bayliners and a Sea Ray, and um, so, and then also probably on my pontoons. So um, that's my report for now, my initial report for now, and I'll let you know how uh, how it turns out.